A debate over school safety is taking center stage in Oakland County. It is a story you'll see only here on 7. A letter was sent home to parents from the head of Notre Dame Prep in Pontiac, raising concerns about needing a full-time school resource officer. The Oakland County Sheriff has supported providing one resource officer paid for by the private school, but the county board has yet to make a decision. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shakehead is in Pontiac uncovering the cause of the delays. The head of school here at Notre Dame Prep says a full-time school resource officer is something they hoped to have resolved back in January, but now, months later, they're still waiting for approval from the county board. Inside Notre Dame Prep and Marist Academy in Pontiac, safety of more than a thousand private school students is a top focus for parents. You're not going to send your kids to school if you don't feel like they're safe. Time is of the essence that we need to have something secure. Now they fear that safety may be at risk. We're in danger of losing uh, our deputy presence on our campus. In a letter to parents, the head of the school outlining his concerns, explaining the sheriff's office notified Notre Dame Prep that it would need to staff the school with a full-time resource officer rather than the part-time deputies it currently uses. The school says it agreed to pay for the full-time deputy itself, but the Oakland County Board of Commissioners is holding things up. We've agreed to uh, a full-time school resource officer, but has been caught up in bureaucracy and red tape. A full-time deputy there will be able to handle those reports and those calls. Sheriff Michael Bouchard disappointed in what he calls an unnecessary delay with fall semester approaching quickly. I had tons of staff there at the meeting in December with all the information, the data, the contract was already written by Corporation Council. We were ready to go. Here we are five months later and we're still talking about it. Digging for public records, we've also obtained this document from a decade ago showing the county previously approved this full-time SRO position. I will deploy that SRO to the school to protect their kids as soon as the commission approves it, period. To get answers, we visited County Board Chairman David Woodward to ask, will Notre Dame be able to get a full-time school resource officer by the fall? We've got to go through our process, look at all legal constitutional issues, fiscal policy. We will be developing a policy uh, and um, a subsequent contract in the coming weeks. Yet, Commissioner Michael Spiz tells us parents, students, and staff shouldn't have to wait any longer after recent deadly tragedies like the Oxford High School and MSU mass shootings. It's nothing different than what we do today, like I said, for other entities out there and around the county. None of us commissioners are holding, really holding up. It's all in Dave Woodward's lap. Currently, part-time deputies and private security are in place, but the deputy's part-time contract expires at the end of the school year. The head of school is still hopeful this can be worked out long before fall, especially considering Notre Dame Prep is willing to pay the full cost of a full-time school resource officer. From Pontiac, Simon Shaquette, 7 Action News. All right, Simon, sounds like a lot of people would like to see some movement on that.